Welcome back to the studio. If you're new, I'm Slu. I'm training to draw portraits in 10 minutes flat, a really well-rounded portrait with great likeness in 10 minutes. So today we're gonna talk about what I've been doing to practice and my exercises. We start with computer-generated images, and that's really easy because they're perfect statues, and then more challenging real-life situations, people in front of me, in person, it's a whirlwind, but I'm really excited about the skills I've just developed. I'm keeping the materials consistent. I'm just gonna be using this charcoal pencil and a kneaded eraser, that's it. Trying to hardly not erase at all. Also, every drawing will be timed 10 minutes on screen, so I am held accountable. To start, we're using this random face generator. It's really awesome. You could pick any gender. You could pick the age range, the ethnicity, and it creates people that have never existed before, sort of perfect for this exercise. So boom, we got one of these with glasses, and these are like more realistic situations, not with perfect lighting, you know, so I kind of like this website for that reason. So we're just gonna click one more. We're in any gender, 26 to 35 years old, any ethnicity. Boom, we got this girl. Let's draw. The first drawing, I was super excited to get this going, but I knew that it was gonna be not great just because, first of all, this these pictures on this website aren't the best. Portraits are sort of made up, mashed together, bad lighting. Um, also, I'm a big fan of warming up, so it wasn't, you know, a great situation. I was going in cold, but the first, first portrait, we banged it out. All right, that is the 10 minutes. Pretty horrible. So I was nervous and I was frightened and I this is the first sketch of this challenge of this this training I'm gonna do for like four or five days. And so I have yet to establish any sort of order of operations technique with the charcoal pencil. So good news is there's only <laughs> improvement from here, but this is not a good start. Let's just immediately do another one. Now this second portrait, I thought it was a lot better. You know, even doing one of those portraits for 10 minutes, um, I was more warmed up. Your eyes, your your viewing, your observing, your wrists, actually just putting proportions down. But it doesn't look like him. I got the wrong ethnicity. Things with the mouth are super hard with teeth. I was trying to go too, too detailed. This again, this portrait has, you know, this girl has a couple more shadows that are nicer. Um, but again, I'm just, you know, these are just really brutal. Um, and I'm getting too, like... I'm getting too sketchy with them and sketchy as in like I'm trying to shade and I'm trying to do all these things with charcoal that isn't really the right process. This is the first portrait of the first four that I really felt I nailed the likeness and I nailed sort of this in-between style of illustrative and you know um, academic portrait. Um, there's not much shading going on but I think it looks like um, this person the most and actually it was only 8 minutes and 30 seconds not 10 minutes. I'm really excited to use some different mediums for these drawings, maybe hack that 10 minute portrait, maybe different mediums will be easier in different regards. All right, this is this is my roommate, Ian. We're gonna do 10 minutes in person. The lighting's not even that good, so it's to simulate like in real life, just as if someone plopped down on the subway, and I'm gonna draw, so 10 minutes on the clock. So 10 minutes, this was, I was excited about this. You know, my roommate Ian comes to work at the studio all the time, I always wanna draw him, and just, it's a good practice, Just human being in front of you. Um, and I started off okay, you know, again, I was felt the pressure on this one. The lighting wasn't great, um, but I'm just going for it again. This It's not about doing good illustrations. It's sort of about finding the route, finding the technique, the path to achieve a portrait in under 10 minutes. I go over 10 minutes here, I think we do 14. And I'm not disappointed in this because I think it looks like him, but it's, it's not the best portrait. Fucking stud. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's literally the, the Michael Hurd version of, of I know, I don't know. higher cheekbones, just, better jawline. Really? I don't know. It's just hard, dude. I think it does look at me. The better version of me. <laughs> By just a little bit, though. Yeah. It's not bad, not great, not bad, not great. Yeah. Roommate number two, Brian. You ready? Now with Brian, I was more warmed up with Ian. I felt a little more confident. Again, I'm a big fan of this warming up. Just 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I feel already more um, able with this pencil and this is a graphite pencil drafting. So it's a bit more forgiving. I don't erase much, but you could see I could do these really, you know, faint lines. And um, I think I nailed Brian a little more. I don't think it looks exactly like him. He kind of looks like an anime character, but um, in terms of a solid portrait, I got everything. I found the features way faster. I found all the things shading. So. It, it, from an earlier stage, it developed better. But it's not perfect, and it, it doesn't look exactly like him, so there's still a ways to go. This is just improvement. All right, we got Blake. 
My other roommate, my ex roommate who now lives in Miami, she's gone. You gotta take these off. And how do you want your hair to be? Up or down? Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That works. Okay. So for this third in-person live uh, portrait, I want to use some vine charcoal. I think it's really fun to use. It's very forgiving. It's more challenging for the beginner. I've used it quite a bit because, you know, it's just hard to handle, but it's really nice. And I was warmed up at this point, so um, I just went for it. And I think this is the best of the three portraits. I think I really nailed what she looks like. It's cleaner. All the features are mediumly in the right place. I got some shading in. It's a very nice style. All these things I'm thinking about. Um, it's certainly not perfect, and I certainly can improve, but I think of these three live portrait portraits, the, this was certainly the best, Blake's portrait. Um, and we have some, she doesn't think it looks really like her, you'll see, but uh, I thought it was pretty strong. It doesn't look, look that much like me, but it's really good. Or something. It's the silhouette of, No, it's a, so lot, a lot of it is like these lines right here. And then like this jawline. And so we debated a little more and I did a couple more minutes just to fix things up, see, see what she thought. It was just fun to continue. Um, I always want to keep working on things. And uh, you know, we're going back because I ran out of live models, ran out of friends at the studio. So we're switching things up, experimenting with other mediums. This is an ink pen. And boy, these are rough. I'm totally not an inking person. I hardly use pens. It's like the one medium I'm very unfamiliar with. That's why I wanted to give it a shot. This portrait of this man, I would say is horrible, but it's certainly not great. It's not clean. I'm just not used to putting these insanely bold strokes down. And I made a mistake here trying to draw this baby with a pen. <laughs> the two worst uh, combinations. I mean, it looks like a baby, sure, but it's just jagged and I don't want to say ugly, but this isn't a real baby. It's generated. So it's just like an ugly, scary baby and it's not the best, but I want to show you guys all the practices. So, you know, there's a bunch of fails in here. This is a great charcoal portrait. I went back to that vine charcoal and I thought it was great. This was like 10 minutes flat, but I forgot to record it. So you can't see the process, but just got to take my word. And I wanted to do one more because I just really like this charcoal, um, kind of situation. I, I feel like I should have used this from the beginning. I'm absolutely going to keep doing these portraits. Like this is going to be a little series, I think, because I sort of want to master this idea of a 10 minute portrait. The real secret to nailing these is just do them a lot. Find out what works. Find out a starting technique. You saw I started with a circle, um, depending on the lighting, depending on the profile, if it's straight on, if it's three quarters, there's all these techniques you could sort of hack. Um, that's really fun. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the beginning path of this 10 minute uh, training. I, I'm planning on doing more videos. I'm really excited about this because I just want to be able to quickly figure out a formula for me to get likeness and do portraits very fast in a nice, clean, illustrated style. There's a lot of people out there who are so good at drawing on the illustrative side and it's really inspiring. I'm trying to get out of some bad habits of doing longer drawings and more academic stuff, which I like and it's a good foundation for understanding features, but to come up with my own system. So subscribe if you're into that. There's gonna be more videos. Also, let me know if you're interested in a portrait tutorial. I think I'm gonna be working on premium videos, two hour long, complete guides to like portrait painting and all that. So let me know what you think. See you in the next video.